So I'm gonna break down to you what the most intimidating quality of a competitor is, somebody you're facing, or maybe you, to the people you're competing with. And if this video gives you value, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into it. This past Saturday, we take 25 of our guys from VT2 UFC. Everybody's dressed up, PBD podcast, Manek, value tainment, all this stuff that we're wearing. And we go to the UFC in Miami, Big Card, O'Malley, Vera, Dustin's fighting. Bunch of great people are fighting on this card, and we're on our way there. While we're on our way there, it shows that President Trump is campaigning in Atlanta, Georgia. And he's talking in front of thousands of people. So the crew then says, well, you know, typically Trump shows up to UFC fights. He's probably not going to make it tonight because he's going through what he's going through. I get to the UFC. Dana's kind enough to put, give me a seat that I'm sitting right between him and Trump at the UFC around a bunch of different people, Candace, Portnoy, Sage Steele, all the Rumble people are there, Nelk boys are here, Every Joe Burrow, Logan, everybody's at this event. It's a star-studded event. We're in the back having conversations with some of the people. Trump's daughter's also there, Ivanka, Jared is there. And then Dana says, Pat, you will not believe who texted me last night at 2.30 in the morning. I said, who? President Trump. I said, what did he say? He says, Dana, I'm speaking in Georgia, but I'm trying to find a way to come to the fight. I said, get out of here. He says, then he texts me back, 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning. I said, a 77-year-old texts you at 2.30, and he texts you back at 7.30, yes. I said, what's he saying? He's trying to make this fight. I said, get out of here. I'm telling you, he's trying to make this fight. All right, we'll see what's going to happen. We're in the arena, okay, doing our thing. We enter the arena. Place is insane. Going wild, all of a sudden, Dana steps away, comes back at around 9.30, at around 10.30. And you see the entire audience, everybody, 15,000 people turn on their phones and they're going like this recording. And you look at the top, he's walking in. He walks in, sits down, shakes God knows how many people's hands, takes pictures. One by one by one, everybody's coming to take pictures with him. And the fight that night, you know what time the fight ended? Two o'clock in the morning, he ended. Guess who was still in the arena? He was still in the arena at 77 years old. His opponent went to sleep at probably 8.30, 9 o'clock the same night. His opponent is a very kind man, gentleman. They call him Joseph. He went to sleep at 8.30. Not because I'm telling you this and trolling, because Kareem Jean-Pierre and Saki, Saki once said the president always goes to sleep before 9 a.m., and doesn't wake up before 9 a.m. This guy's 77 years old. Do you know how many times he went like this? Dana would put his hands here, and he would stand up. Yes. Boom, picture. Boom, stand up. Never got tired. Never yawned once. Never complained. Didn't do anything. And then left and did his thing. And imagine what time he got home that night. You know, 3 o'clock in the morning, 3.30. Maybe he hit the sack at 4 o'clock. Who knows what it is. I still haven't told you the story on what's the most intimidating quality of an opponent. You ready? Years ago, I want to compete in the insurance industry and in capitalism and in business and content creation, whatever it may be. I want to come. I'm a young guy coming up and I want to compete. And I'm asking everybody what it was. I understood I had to outwork my peers, but that's not enough. I understood I had to out-improve my peers, learn, skill set, mindset, people skills, any of that stuff, I had to learn. Then I had to out-strategize, which, hey, these guys are doing this. Hey, content creation, do this. Hey, business, do this. Hey, change the comp plan like this. Expansion, go to these states. Strategy. But there's nothing more intimidating to your opponent if you can outlast them. It is so scary. Imagine you're done at 8 o'clock. The guy goes till 9. You're like, no, he's going to leave the office. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, then gets up then gets at it again. Next day, gets at it again. Eventually, to somebody that goes like that, they outlast. You know what their competitors typically do? You know what their opponents typically do? They mentally and emotionally quit. Physically, they quit a long time ago, but they mentally and emotionally quit. In the fight game, same thing. In a business game, same thing. In sports, same thing. It doesn't matter what it is. Those who outlast their peers are by far the most intimidating people in the world of competition. You yourself are watching this. You may be thinking about somebody. Either you're that person to others or you thought about somebody else. You're like, man, he's kind of like that. That guy's like, you know, he's always this. He's always, he's always this, man. Does he ever get tired? That's the mental game they play to torture their opponents until eventually their opponents mentally and emotionally say, that's just not a guy I'm going to compete with. Why? Because to me, like I remember one guy goes around talking behind my back and he would say things like this. Well, you know, I just value family and faith more than Patrick does. That's the excuse. 
That's the excuse making people. Well, I just, I, you know, to me, what's more important is this. No, man, you're just making an excuse. Because when we got back from the fight that night, we went to a sushi spot. We shut it down and all of us were having dinner. We're having a great time. You know what time we got home that night? 5.30. You know what happens when you got four kids, 12, 10, 7, 2 years old? They wake you up. You know where we were the next morning, early in the morning? Church. You know why? Because I got four kids. I don't have a choice. So again, going back to you guys that are watching this, this is a message purely for those of you guys that are in business, that are competing, that want to find a way to earn the kind of respect. So when you walk into a room and everybody stops, you don't do that because you have a degree. You don't do that because of your height. You don't do that because of the way you look. You don't do that because you're sexy. You don't do that because you're a six pack. You don't do that because you're close. You do that because mentally, emotionally, you've outlasted everybody and you now have the moral authority to impose that fear on your opponents because they're simply not willing to go at the pace that you're willing to go. While they're making excuses, you're simply leading them. And there's something very special about that. Oh my God, the feeling of how it brings when you're able to do that, I can't describe it to you. You can't go to Saks Fifth Avenue and buy that. You can't go to Amazon and say, can I buy some moral authority to impose fear into my competitors? Nobody has any of that stuff because it's not for sale. You got to pay a full, full retail price and then some. That's how you earn this kind of respect. People got it in sports, people got it in politics, people get it in business. And if you want that, it takes typically a couple decades, maybe even more. Anyways, if you got value out of this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And if you are watching this and you're crazy enough where you're like, this freaking message fired me up, Manek me. Ask me a question on Manek. If you really want to go do something big on Instagram, 95% of the time, nobody responds back to you when you DM them or on LinkedIn. I never get back to people on LinkedIn, Instagram, or Twitter because I value my time. And if you value my time, pay for it, whether through a text, a video, or FaceTime. Click here. I only respond to messages on Manect. If you have any questions, download the app, ask me or many other six, 7,000 experts on there any questions on why they're competing the way they are. Maybe they'll give you insight and a mindset of a competitor. Having said that, take care, everybody. Bye-bye, bye-bye.